They are ready for football in Oxford in what could be the most anticipated season the Grove has ever seen. Ole Miss begins a new year as the number six team in the nation. That is the highest preseason ranking for this football team since 1970 when Archie Manning was the quarterback. They're ready to kick off against the Furman Paladins. Third and eight, Dart looks left. Gonna tuck and run, showing off the speed. Jackson Dart dives in! Touchdown, Ole Miss! Guy can move from sideline to sideline. Shows it off right on cue. That defensive front, the most improved unit. Jones has been not shy to let it fly. The sophomore quarterback on a second and 15. Hit as he threw. Off the edge, Princely Umami Ellen, the transfer from Florida. One in blue. Dart has all day. Dials up the deep ball. It's caught. Juice Wells. Touchdown. The South Carolina transfers first catch in an all Miss uniform goes for a 61-yard score. This game is tough. It's hard. You got to enjoy the little moments. You got to enjoy the wins, or else it'll just beat you down. Walter Nolan, number two in blue. You cannot miss him. Explodes off that line, showing why he was one of the most highly touted defensive linemen coming out of high school. Seven plates on each side of the bar on the squat. The uh, guy can lift it up. Batted ball, it's intercepted. Flag comes in, Trey Amos picked it off. He's really popped to another transfer that is delivered for Ole Miss in this opening quarter. And it's Pegues who gets the snap, rumbling forward, J.J. Pegues, the defensive tackle. You have to love it. All 325 pounds. To do it again. Pegues. Nimble. Makes a cut. Dives. Did he break the plane? Yes. J.J. Pegues. All smiles for Ole Miss. Davis from 42. And he hits it. These are some big, well put together guys on that line. Dart Got rolls it. right, flips it wide open for an easy touchdown. Daquan Wright. Oh, now, right? If you're not prepared for that, you're not experienced for that. It, it can eat you alive. So the guys Ooh. they brought in. J.J. Really Pegues is doing it all. He scores a touchdown offensively, lays the lumber defensively. Something that will have to evolve during the season. Dart, pump fakes, now airs it out to the tight end. Wide open, inside the five, touchdown Ole Miss! Forty-six yard strike to Caden Prescorn. <laughs> Midway through the second quarter, it has been all Ole Miss. Wow, another big tackle. Every single play, the pursuit of the football, the point of attack for Ole Miss defensively has been apparent. Dart, he's already thrown for three touchdowns and 299 yards, steps up. Uncorks another deep ball, and it's caught. Trey Harris. What a connection those two have, and it's another Ole Miss touchdown. She was telling us even DK Metcalf used to stop by the tailgate after the game. I love the fact she caught us Yankees, too, when he first walked <laughs> up. That was hilarious. And she's going to be cheering for oh, this yeah. touchdown. It's Trey Harris again. Marianne loves it. She's been out of her seat all first half long. Trey Harris and Jackson Dart 
you're going to hear those names all season long. So they feel like they have the team that could restore this program to the top of the conference. Big hit. Amos again. How impressive has Trey Amos been in this first half transfer from Alabama? Me too. So <laughs> FBS yeah, new to it. doing it for the first time this season. Ole Miss hopes they can be a playoff team. And that is a huge hit. Blown up in the backfield. Chris Paul Jr. laying some serious lumber. And Ole Miss continues to dial up the pressure. It's Chris Paul Jr. again. Play action. Going to let Simmons air it out on first down to the end zone. It's caught. First pass in an Ole Miss uniform. Picks out Caden Lee for a Rebels touchdown. What a start to a career, right? Right up the middle, rumbling, shedding tacklers for another Ole Miss touchdown. It's Matt Jones, the Mississippi native. Bouncing off a couple tacklers, a lot of green grass. Matt Jones into the end zone, 46-yard touchdown. Perhaps. It's a good point because sometimes you'll see a quarterback have 12 good games in college and then he's a first-round pick. It doesn't work out a lot. Trey Lance, right? I mean, yeah. fantastic, had all the tools, but didn't have enough game experience, and I think that hurt his development. Field goal from 41 is good. Ole Miss up to 76 on the opener. Another big hit. Trey had in the true freshmen's absorbed a, a bunch of big ones. Chris Hardy. You now the headset can come off. Lane Kiffin. Victory number one in the books to start the 2024 campaign. A year after they had a program record, 11 wins. They tie a program record with 76 points to open the biggest expectations coming into a season in six decades here in Oxford.